Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Line Stack. So today we are actually doing some extremely dangerous. We're pulling an ammonia purity sample. And you're like, well, why do you pull samples of ammonia? Well, we're checking the water content and oil content that's actually in our recirculated system. You typically wouldn't pull an ammonia sample on a DX system or a flooded system uh, because the water and the oil is going to stay in the coil it's in. Unless it has a return defrost system and, and it actually uses the the condensate actually leaves the coil through the bottom of the coil. Um, then you want to make, you just check the low sides of your system uh, where, the, where, that, where that condensate goes, like the accumulator. Because it's going to stay in the accumulator. It's going to stay in those because when your suction pulls up the dry side, it's going to, it's not going to, uh, um, it's going to, everything that's stay in your accumulator. So I've had systems where I drained out um, oil, uh, the oil pot, and then a lot of water started coming out, or a lot of water started coming out, and maybe a little bit of oil. So depending on what what one weighs out the most, oil will float or water will float, depending on the depending on the quantity. Um, but it's extremely dangerous. I'm wearing all my PPE, and uh, I have my backup tech here. His name's Keith. He's gonna be helping me out, and uh, um, I'm putting a dead man valve on the point of extraction, and to make sure it's safe. Let me show you what we're working with here. So here is the Phillips um, uh, ammonia purity sample kit. So we're going to be go, going through here. We're going to be filling this line to 100 milliliters right here. And this we fill it here. And we uh, set it here so it just drips in here. And uh, this will start to get really cold and allow the ammonia liquid to fall here. And the vapor will go up here. Do not stick this here in water so don't put a tube on here put it in water because as soon as you stop filling it's just suck the water back in so i typically don't leave i don't typically don't put anything on top of here because um i'm wearing 100 of my ppe and I'm, I'm not putting my face over the top of this when i'm when i'm filling it so um it just, it'll just go right up and the vapor will go right up the area you're doing it make sure there's nobody around the area because this can just stink really bad when you're filling this so Make sure you're safe. I'll see you guys when I get over there. All right, guys, so we're here by the recirculator. Here it is. Point of extraction is going to be right here. And uh, there, there, there's the beaker there. We're going to hook everything up.
survived a little ammonia leakage on it. This is what I'm filming on right now. So yeah, ammonia started spraying on it and I had to grab it. I didn't realize it was gonna come out the top as strong as it did. That's why you wear all your PPE doing this. You can put a tube on it and direct it somewhere else. Uh, so it's not right there. Um, but every time I've done that flung around, it could hit you in the face or maybe weight it down. Um, but uh, uh, just have nothing on tight. It just kind of sprays up a little bit. There's nobody in the area. nobody working here today. So this is why we're here today because it's dangerous. You don't want to be doing this in a in an area with hardly any ventilation. Ventilation. This is outside. So make sure if you're working doing this inside, you have a lot of ventilation and. Um, and uh and be safe man this is very dangerous to do but as you can see i got my fan on it right here blowing on here to kind of speed up this process a little bit you know you don't want to put any water on here any moisture in there you want to get just uh get 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 just enough airflow on it to keep it boiling so you have to wait four hours this will take like four i'd say three to four hours for it to boil off and being it's this cold outside right now probably on the four hour side so doing this helps speed things up here a little bit and uh i'm going to set you down here so you guys can watch the, watch it all boil off in time lapse though It's less than 0.5, so it's just barely anything in the system here. Uh, we did, when we were, the reason why we're doing this two samples, we did get some water in a compressor, but that was on the dry side of the system, and it could have been introduced. Uh, maybe uh, they got some water in the oil or something when it was added to the system. The water content in the system is very small. That could be a little bit of oil too as well. So it uh, looks like there's probably a little bit of oil in there. Let's see here. Yeah, that's oil. That is oil. That's That was on the outside. That is definitely oil. So your circulator has no water content and no, uh, no, uh, no, at, not at all. It seems pretty good. So we'll continue, uh, um, put everything back together and get out of here. <laughs> 